Chesterton teaches us to see things inside out, seeing our own eyes. He also teaches us to stand on our head. He says that sometimes we need to stand on our heads to see things afresh, because when we see them from the normal angle, we don't see them at all. We become blind to them because they become too familiar. By standing on our head, we see them from that new surprising angle, seeing something upside down. And then sometimes when we're looking at something upside down, we realize we're seeing it, it properly, really, realistically for the first time. In other words, we've never seen it before. So upside down turns, up, turns out to be the right side up. And if you like, that is, is, is a definition of conversion. So we see here these, these sort of apparent contradictions. At the heart of Chesterton is the joy of paradox. We don't understand Chesterton unless we understand paradox. And a paradox can be defined as an apparent contradiction that points to a deeper truth. So in order to understand that, let's look at some paradoxes, some general ones, some biblical ones, and some Chestertonian ones. So for instance, it takes a big man to know how small he is. Or, to reverse that, pride is the mask that a small man wears because he thinks he's big. Or, from the Bible, the greatest perhaps of all paradoxes, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So we can see perhaps that paradox is the unity of wit and wisdom. It's humorous, it's clever, it makes us think on our feet, but it's also wise, has a deep wisdom about it. And something that struck me when I first came to know Chesterton, and I think strikes many people, is that Chesterton has more fun than the atheists. I think it was um, General Booth, the, the founder of the Salvation Army, who said, why should the devil have all the best tunes? Well, Chesterton shows us that the devil does not have all the best jokes and certainly doesn't have as much fun as the good, rambunctious Christ Christian. I, again, Chesterton's great friend Belloc famously said, wherever the Catholic sun doth shine, there's always laughter and good red wine. At least I've always found it so. Benedictamus Domino. So this joie de vivre, this jollity, this rambunctiousness is at the heart of who Chesterton is and the faith that he has and conveys to us. Chesterton is happier than the atheists. He has the key to happiness. And again, as Aquinas shows us, that the, the key is this combination between gratitude and humility, or if you like, gratitude being the fruit of humility. And it's that that allows us to have that happiness at the heart of things.